and welcome to another video if you are following the channel and i doubt it you will know that i'm a big fan of e-paper displays uh, i've made uh, previously uh, some projects using these uh, displays uh, there is a task list with uh, raspberry pi and 7.5 inches e-paper display which I, i'll be remaking uh, uh, in uh, a better version uh, cryptocurrency tracker and I was thinking of having something like in a pen holder uh, with a daily quotes, um, uh, a calendar, uh, some uh, feed from the internet or from a, a project management software. I had my multiple attempts before and I lost both the a paper and the board. So yeah, it was it was a rough journey. And now I got myself a 3.7 inches a paper display. Uh, e-paper ESP32 driver board, micro USB cable, micro USB uh, breakout extension and of course the uh, epoxy resin and uh, a bin holder mold. This is a, a big one, not the small one that is uh, famous on AliExpress. I've added the links for you if you want to uh, use the exa exact items uh, I'm using. Uh, as a first step, I've connected the e-paper to the driver board and ran the demo code. Uh, it's uh, from a WebShare website. I used the demo code to just add random codes displayed once the board gets power. Uh, this is like phase one prototype. The code will be uh, on uh, a GitHub page and the link will be in the description down below. The code itself is a little bit messy now and I'm sharing the idea not the code itself. Feel free to fork the code or start over with your own implementation. I've added the epoxy re uh, resin into multiple iteration. First iteration was a transparent layer so you can see the e-paper uh, display. After a few days, I connected the driver board and tried uh, to connect it using a Type-C adapter, but I ended up using a micro USB uh, cable. I added the second layer of the epoxy resin and waited for three days before it uh, hardened it. I made a gap in the epoxy, uh, cut the cable and connected to micro uh, USB extension board. Here it is working. I tested the connection multiple times during the process because uh, this is the only driver board uh, that I have. I have extra uh, wireless charger receiver. I used it to uh, turn the uh, board uh, to you know get a random code using the power sharing feature on my Samsung phone. And because I have uh, connected the board to the micro extension, I can reprogram it using the micro extension Maybe in the future I'll be adding a calendar and a to-do list. I'd love if someone interested in the idea can help uh, me code the rest of the features. Finally, this is the end of the video. Click the like button if you like the video. The dislike button does not make any sense anymore. Uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.